Oh, man, it's so hot, dude. Whew. That's how you know it's summer. It's, it's definitely summer is here. Feels good. Super hot every day, though, but I kind of like it. Anyways, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hembu. I create filmmaking and photography related content here on YouTube. So if you guys are into that, make sure you do subscribe. Today, I got a really cool video for you guys. I think this effect is going to be super useful for a lot of you guys and uh, it basically allows you to isolate only your highlights and give it this glow like effect it's really interesting and it's really cool and is one of the main effects that i use in my recent film from new york so if you guys have not seen that i will leave a link down below for you guys to check out so this is a really amazing effect because you can use it for just about any type of scenario or any type of shot that you have but a cool way to use this effect is creating a blade runner inspired neon color grade i guess the one thing I do want to mention before we do start is that you do need the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro or the latest version of After Effects because there is a new effect that they added I believe recently I think it was this year that they added this new effect that basically is what we're going to be working on today. All right so now that we're inside Premiere Pro here I've actually gathered some example clips that I'm going to be using for this video and here's a shot of Times Square with my A7 III shot in 4k with hybrid log gamma 2 so the image straight off the camera already looks really good but i still think it could look a little bit better so i'm gonna give it a basic little correction so i'm gonna go into creative and actually import one of my luts and i think i'm gonna use cold all right so already by that there's a huge difference i think it looks a lot better it made the entire image a much more cooler vibe and i'm just gonna do some you know basic corrections and whatnot with my grading i don't want to do too much after I'm happy with my color correction, I'm going to go into my effects and type in VR glow. And then I'm just going to drag and drop that onto my clip. And as you can see, you can already see some changes. And moving into your effects tab, you should now see a VR glow tab. And you should see luma threshold, glow radius, glow brightness, and glow saturation. These are basically the parameters that you're going to be adjusting and uh, with luma threshold this is basically what controls how much you want to affect notice how it only focuses on the highlights which i think is really cool for just isolating what you want to edit by the way it's it's like really hot in here so if i look kind of sweaty it's like it's like super hot in here <laughs> so i'm just gonna adjust this and play around with what i'm happy with and i think uh something like that is okay i don't want to do overdo it so Moving on to glow radius, this is basically like your feather. This is how you add the glow into it. So watch as I raise this up, you notice how it kind of feathers in and softens. And if I put it down, it becomes a lot more sharper. So definitely try to find a good level. It will really all depend on what images that you're trying to color grade. And now moving on to brightness, this basically just controls how bright you want it to be. Obviously, you don't want to overblow it. So let me just lower that very faint. Something like that's okay. Now moving on to glow saturation and uh, this is really cool because you can actually add a lot of saturation into the highlights with this. Notice how it brings out the greens and the yellows right there. That's really cool. And I think this is a very, very powerful effect to actually aid you in the color grading process. Now, let me show you guys a really cool technique that you can do with VR Glow that will actually give you guys some pretty insane colors. So if you actually go to highlight tint and actually move that around, it really affects the VR Glow effect. So I move it into say blue it gives it this insane amount of color if i move it into green it gives it this super unique look that really normal color grading tools you can't really achieve moving it into purple gives it another completely new feel to the entire image it's really cool i like the green one the green one's pretty cool maybe orange maybe we'll bump that up a little bit have the brightness there you go that's cool Oh, look at that green. This is so cool to me. Like, you know, the really awesome thing about doing a project that really pushes you and makes you think outside the box is that you just find a ton of new awesome effects that you never knew existed. So that's really cool. And I'm glad that I can share this stuff with you guys. So I kind of like the orange. I think I'm going to keep it at the orange. The orange looks really cool, kind of contrasts with the blue. So I'm kind of happy with that. Now let's move on to the next example. And uh, here's just another shot that I got during this rainy night in New York. Another tip for you when you are trying to get this Blade Runner cyberpunk theme aesthetic is that 
definitely film at night to get those city lights but another thing that will really help out is getting rain in there all the streets will become glossy and start reflecting a ton of lights so that is why a lot of people actually shoot in the rain which is very useful for that blade runner sci-fi aesthetic so starting off i'm just going to give it a basic color correction and i'm going to use a lot so i'm going to use cold and so far it looks good i think i'm happy with that just like last time i'm just going to drag and drop vr glow onto the clip and uh, in my effects tab i'll see it over here so everything i'm doing right now is just the same as the first time i'm just gonna adjust the lumetry to see how much i want to affect maybe right there is good bump up the saturation of course i like that i really like how that vr glow adds that color in there it looks it looks really rich kind of maximizes your use of your 8-bit sony camera there you go and that's already looking really really sick now after that uh let's actually go into highlight tint and shadows and play around and mess around see what colors we can bring out there you go that looks pretty epic so i really hope you guys are starting to see just how powerful and useful this effect can be when you're color grading because this thing can really transform your entire image. Some certain shots I never thought could ever look like that, but now can look like that with this effect. This soft glow like look that is super famous in a lot of Hollywood films and just overall film in general. If you watch very closely on a lot of films, a lot of the highlights are actually softer and, and give off this glow like effect. And, and sometimes they actually do use a little smoke machine to kind of give off a certain haze to create that soft light look. But with this method, you can kind of do it in post to save you time and money. All in all, I think it's a really awesome effect that I thought you guys would find useful and it's actually a really cool effect that I plan to be using a lot in my future work. If you guys have not seen my New York film yet where I did use a lot of these sci-fi inspired effects, I will leave a link down below to that video for you guys to check out. Everything was color graded with my custom LUTs, so if you guys are interested in that as well, another link will be found down below. So now let's end the video off with reading some of your guys' questions from the New York film. Jackie Wong says, did you use HLG2? Yes, I did actually use HLG2 to shoot this entire New York film with my A7 III. Comment from Cody Blue. Hembu bringing the bangers on this one and Brett killing it on the skateboard. This was dope, my dude. Thank you, Cody. I appreciate that, man. I'm also a big fan of your work. Dave says, outstanding, Hembu. Great clips, cuts, grading, transitions. Everything was alive and working great. Well done. Thank you, Dave. I really do appreciate that. That really means a lot. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope you guys learned something. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.